I think an important piece that a lot of people don't understand, including those people that are really trying to address addictions, is that it really requires a change in our behavior. And there's a lot of really practical stuff that we can do, and there's tons of research to support it. Let me give you an example. Uh, working out physically may be one of the most powerful alternatives to uh, turning towards addictive behaviors, whether it's with drugs or other uh, bad habits. Uh, physical exercise is a great way to deal with stress and build self-esteem, so it's, it's a win-win in terms of of, of the positives with very little downside. Another thing that people don't think about is just what we eat and uh, how our sleep is. Those kinds of things really matter when it comes to managing addictive behaviors. We can really take charge by developing good habits. And it takes a while to develop those, but the results, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. The results are so positive. Here's another one that people can do that 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 is non-optional for really serious about working through addiction. Develop ways to calm ourselves, to develop non-addictive ways of chilling, whether that's prayer or meditation or yoga. Those things are gold when it comes to reducing addictive risk or addictive behaviors or changing bad habits. So I just think having good knowledge about the research that's been done and then beginning to apply that to our lives uh, is a huge leg up in terms of managing any addictions in our lives. These kinds of conversations, which are very practical and applied, are the kinds of conversations we have at the Vitality Project. I hope you'll come join our community.